Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the intelligent battery sensor fuse is located, guys, which uh, intelligent battery sensor fuse, where it's located, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. Where is the battery sensor fuse located? We will demonstrate on this generation Dodge Ram right here. What you guys need to do, go ahead and open guys the hood. Once you open the hood on the driver's side, that's your car battery. In front of it you have that cover, that's your main engine fuse box. Press these two tabs, lift, it will open, on the inside you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse pour and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. For the battery sensor guys, we need to check one fuse, but make sure to stay until the end, we want to give you one advice, so you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like we did. The fuse for the battery sensor guys, it's known as fuse number 52, so that's 50. 51, 52, that 5 amp fuse right here. Now, guys, you have all kinds of different fuses, relays. Uh, we recommend to always buy some spare ones, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. One time we needed replacement, we couldn't find one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days. We don't want that to happen to you guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.